So today, I'm offering an introduction to the practice of Christian mission in three parts. First, I will talk about why mission is a complicated subject. Then, I will define what mission is and what it means for churches today. And then last, I will offer a few steps to move forward toward a healthy and more faithful engagement in mission for your congregation. Today, we want to talk about growing, or rather the lack of growth in our Sunday school classes. Choosing the right church software can run your slides it is therefore an important decision to support the worship environment. Hey, this is Charlene Shanklin with this week's The VIP Report. Let's check out what's happening in and around the Louisville area.
The overarching idea of this show is to celebrate and recognize the rich tradition of African American music. To examine the footprints of those musical giants who have illuminated our pathway to new artistic expressions. Welcome to this edition of Black Music Footprints, a jazz experience. If somebody wanted to do an investigation on God's grace, where would it start? Simmons College of Kentucky presents a new weekly web series. Inspiring stories uncovering the truth of God's presence in our lives. Real accounts of survivors and the Savior who changed their circumstance for the better. Wonderful experiences that can only be explained as God's grace actively working in our lives. It's the case for grace. A weekly feature sponsored by the Religious Studies Department of Simmons. Share this series with anyone to bolster their faith or use it in your own life, and we'll trust God for the results. class that deals with spiritual warfare. And you don't get to choose whether or not you're going to be in it. You get to choose the side to be on. The enemy wants our mind because if he gets our mind, he got everything. But God wants our body and our mind. If we can give him our body, he'll renew our mind. 
spiritual warfare, the maturing of the Christian, and how to protect your family and really be a force for good. What's up everybody? My name is Ryan Jones and I am the host of the program Ryan with the Knee. But we will have candid, honest, hilarious, and sometimes even serious conversation about the topics and happenings that are pertinent to young women and college students like myself. I will be opening up about my experiences as I navigate my way through adulthood with the help of my homegirls, my role models, and of course, God. Thank you so much for tuning in to laugh, learn, and kick it with your girl, Ryan with the Knee. Reverend Dr. Kevin W. Cosby and the St. Stephen Church family present the Festival of Gospel Music. Get ready to experience praise and worship at its best, featuring St. Stephen's own sensational chapel choir from Hardin County, the amazing sounds of joy from Southern Indiana, Synergy, a millennial makeup of today's voices, and the mega praise team. All accompanied by the phenomenal musicians of the St. Stephen Band with special guest performers Demetrius Ward and the Jesus Promoters, Violent Worship, and Jason Claiborne and the team. Hosted by St. Stephen Baptist Church, it's the must-see gospel event of the summer. Big fun and great giveaways, so bring your lawn chairs and get there early for the Festival of Gospel Music at 4th Street Live, Sunday, August 19th at 6 p.m. For more information, find us on Facebook and Twitter, or give us a click at ssclive.org.
for years, this gifted organist and producer has used his gift to give hope to others, inspiring and inciting moments of praise. As a musician, life is music. But what happens when the music is gone? When everything is taken away. Dr. Malloy in surgery step. Chest hurting, leaning over keys, coughing. Mm. Hey man, you got you you had to go to the hospital. You have a mass on the right side of your chest. And he said, I think it's cancer. He said it was stage three, stage four. So I said, well, Doc, what's after stage four? He said, death. So that's why, you know, people see me smiling. See me, you don't know what I've been through. You have strong faith mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you have your doubts. Coming in October. So I go in and they prep me for surgery and I'm scared because, you know, I, I didn't know what to expect. On Candid Conversations with Miss Crystal. Because you start thinking about the realities of this massive surgery. It's real life. Introducing the talented G. LaRon Rainey and the test that changed his life. While I'm laying there, I start singing. Look the doctor in his face and said, I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. SSC Live TV presents Never Alone. Never, ever. once we got to the hospital emergency room that it was an infection that had already viral through his body and because he was a diabetic he wasn't able to fight any infection that was going on then. I kind of went into a, a mode of depression a little bit because I was just like my god did you forget about me even though you blessed me but th is, the, is this it? Anybody would have told me that's the way I would have reacted to my mother's death I've been like, nah, I don't think so, but can't, nobody can prepare you for that. That's why I do so much with kids, because people keep thinking that the kid has to be great, the kid has to do all these things. No, sometimes the person, people around him have to be great. See, there's two ways or two motives for loving God. Please fill in the blank. This is critical. And that is you can love God for something. In other words, I'm loving you, God, because I'm going to get something out of it. Or you can love God for nothing, which means I'm going to love you, God, even if you don't do anything to me. If, if, if I'm, even if I'm in the darkness, God, I'm still going to love you. Hello, I'm Kevin Cosby, pastor of St. Stephen Baptist Church, and this is my boss. We would like to welcome you to St. Stephen Church online, for we are one church in two states on three campuses. You do not have to belong to St. Stephen Church for us to belong to you. Welcome. <laughs> 